more stuff in there. Second at Hoofley is like one of the classics of the sport. Um, I think when you feel good, you feel good, and a, wins, a World Cup wins a World Cup win. They, it, everything feels awesome. But yeah, definitely like to finish second here, um, it's pretty awesome. Um, just to, to know that I am up there this year and I'm consistently up there, and hopefully like every weekend my starting position should get a little bit better. So uh, go for another podium in Madrid. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Not bad. Very nice. No champagne this time. No champagne. It's good to well, yeah, shoot beer when you're in some ways is better. For sure. So, so anyways, congratulations. Uh, tell me about uh, the race. Early in the race, you were actually behind uh, uh, Julie, yes. who, who, who wins the, who leads the uh, U23 category. Um, what happened? Did you get a poor start, or? Uh, no, it was actually a pretty good start. Um, up the main climb, I, I, it was actually a little. Um, I thought it would be a little more hard than it was actually, but I could feel pretty conserving, so I just kind of stuck on Catherine Pendle's wheel, and then and then right towards the top, she upped it and took off. So, um, but I felt like it took half the race uh, to even get warmed up. And, uh, and to actually get my race face on or whatever you want to call it. But it took about half the, half the race before I actually wanted to uh, start attacking. And, and I could see Julie in, uh, for the first lap or so, and then I couldn't see her, and then all of a sudden she was right there. So, um, I figured if I was going to get second, uh, I'll try to get first. So uh, and, and from then on, halfway through the race, it, uh, I felt really strong. Now, were you mainly keying on her? Were you thinking in terms of the U23? Or were you still thinking in terms of, I just want to finish as high as I can? I didn't get any positions. Um, people were telling me what I was overall. Uh, top 10 is always a goal, for sure. Um, so at the time, I wasn't sure where I was sitting overall, but I knew Julie was right there, so I, I wanted that position for, for sure. <laughs> Now, I mean, this has got to put you very close. They, they, they had a little confusion as to whether you yeah. taking the lead or not in the uh, U23 category. Does this mean that you're going to maybe reconsider Do Madrid because they're another good race? You could take the uh, overall lead in the World Cup. Um, potentially, but I think I'm going to stick to the plan, and that's to go home and uh, take a rest week, kind of, and, and train again uh, for the next few weeks, and then uh, do some of the Canada Cups and U.S. Cups, and and uh, stick to the plan, which is um, Austria and Switzerland, and the Canadian World Cup, of course, and then uh, hopefully Australia at the end of the year. So your impressions of Hoofleys coming coming here, this sort of classic of, uh, of mountain biking. Oh yes, I heard a lot about Hoofleys and the start. My goodness, the 14% was incredibly, um, incredibly steep, but um, wicked course. I really liked it. Um,